from 4 chapter 5, the straight line. Okay, for this chapter, we have a very important equation that you have to remember. That is y equals to mx plus c. m means gradient, kecerunan. c here means y-intercept. So what is the meaning of y-intercept? Okay, so let's say this green line. So this is a straight line. So the y-intercept is the points that cut at y at 6. Okay, so this is y at 6. This is x at 6. Okay, y-intercept means the point that cuts at y at 6. So this point cut at y at 6. So this is the y-intercept for this green line. So the y-intercept will be negative 5. Okay, for this blue line, the y-intercept will be 4. Because this blue line cut the y at 6 at 4. Okay, so this is y-intercept. Okay, you have to remember this equation. It's very important. Y equals to mx plus c. Okay, number one, find the gradient of the straight line 2 over 3 y minus x equals to 12. So we have to find the gradient, find the m. All we need to do is just rearrange this equation. Okay, so we rearrange the equation. We have 2 over 3 y minus x equals to 12. Okay, so we bring this negative x to right hand side. So 2 over 3y equals to x plus 12. Okay, we're back to this equation, the general equation of the straight line. The coefficient of y must be 1. Okay, here you cannot have any numbers, must be 1. So questions here, we have 2 over 3. We have to get rid of this 2 over 3. So you divided by 2 over 3, then this you will have y equals to, okay, right hand side also, for right hand side, also divided by 2 over 3. So x plus 12 over 2 over 3. Okay, and then you will have x over 2 over 3 equals to 3 over 2 x plus 12 divided by 2 over 3. Okay, 12 divided by 2 over 3. This is equals to 12 multiplied with 3 over 2. And then you simplify it. 6. 6 times 3, 18. How do I get this one? This is x. Okay, so x divided by 2 over 3. This is equals to x. Divide, we change it to multiply. And then this one, we flip over. So you have 3 over 2. So this is equals to 3 over 2 x. Okay, so now we have the format for the general equation. y equals to mx plus c. So just compare y, y, x, x. So 3 over 2 equals to m. Okay, so from here we will have m equals to 3 over 2. And this acting will be c. Okay, so the gradient of the straight line will be 3 over 2. The answer is c. Number 2, determine the y-intercept of the straight line 4x plus 3y plus 8 equals to 0. So y-intercept, we are going to find the value of c. Okay, we just rearrange this equation. 4x plus 3y plus 8 equals to 0. Okay, we rearrange. For left hand side, we only need y. Okay, so we remain y on the left hand side. Then the rest, we move it to the right. 4x minus 8. Okay, the coefficient of y must be 1. It cannot be any numbers. So we have to divide it by 3. So y equals to negative 4 over 3x minus 8 over 3. Okay, and then you just compare. So y, y, x, x. For this equation, m equals to negative 4 over 3. c equals to negative 8 over 3. So the y intercept c equals to negative 8 over 3. The answer is a. Number 3. Find the y-intercept of the straight line passing through points 1, 4 and negative 1, 1. Okay, so we have to form equation using these two points. So first, okay, remember this equation, y equals to mx plus c. We have to find the value of m. m is gradient. Okay, so this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so equals to 1 minus 4 over x2 minus x1 negative 2 minus 1 okay, 1 minus 4 negative 3 
negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. Negative, negative, cancel. So the answer will be 3 over 2. Okay, and then we substitute the value of m back to this equation. Then we will have y equals to 3 over 2x plus c. Okay, now we are going to find the value of c. How to find the value of c? So we are given two points here. You can substitute in any points to this equation to find the value of c. Okay, so let's say I substitute this point 1 and 4. x equals to 1, y equals to 4. Then I will have 4 equals to 3 over 2, x equals to 1 plus c. So c equals to 4 minus, okay, because this one I move it to the left hand side, so positive become negative, minus 3 over 2, 5 over 2. Okay, so number 3, a, b, c, d, all wrong. Okay, the answer is 5 over 2, so no answer for number 3. Number 4. In diagram, PQ is a straight line. Find the gradient of PQ. Okay. So to find the gradient, we must have the coordinates of two points. So what is the coordinate of this point? Okay, this is x is negative 2, negative 2, then y is 0, so negative 2, 0. Then what is the coordinate of this point? Okay, x is 0, y is negative 6. Okay, so now by using these two coordinates, we can find the gradient. So gradient of the line PQ equals to Y2 minus Y1. Let's say this is X1, Y1. And this is X2, Y2. Okay, to find the gradient, Y2 minus Y1. So 0 minus negative 6 over negative 2 minus 0. Negative 2 minus 0. Then we will have 0 plus 6, 6. Negative 2 minus 0, negative 2. Simplify, then you will have negative 3. So the answer is negative 3, C. Number 5. In diagram, ST is a straight line with gradient of 2. Find the value of H. Okay, so let this coordinate be x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. To find the gradient, Okay, so gradient equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So equals to 8 minus 0 over 0 minus h. And from the question, we are given the gradient equals to 2. So just substitute in m equals to 2. Okay, solve this. So 8 minus 0, 8 over 0 minus h, negative h. So negative 2h equals to 8. h equals to 8 over negative 2 equals to simplify negative 4. A. Number 6. It is given that the equation of a straight line which passes through point 0, negative 12 is y equals to negative 3x plus c. Find the point of intersection of the straight line and the x axis. So we have x at 6, y at 6 here. And then this is a straight line, y equals to negative 3x plus c. And this straight line passes through point 0, negative 12. Okay, so this is 0, negative 12. Okay, we have to find the point of intersection of the straight line and the x at 6. Okay, that means we have to find the x intercept. What is the meaning of x intercept? Okay, just now it's y intercept. Y intercept is the point that cuts at y at 6. So x intercept is the point that cuts at x at 6. So we have to find this point. So 0, negative 12 is here. Okay, that means negative 12. That means c equals to negative 12. Okay, c equals to negative 12 because this straight line cut at negative 12. Okay, you just substitute in into this equation. Then you will have y equals to negative 3x, c equals to negative 12, so minus 12. Okay, then how to find the x intercept here? You have to memorize this one. y intercept is when x equals to 0. Okay, so this is y intercept, x equals to 0. Then x intercept will be another round. That is when y equals to 0. Okay, so we just substitute y equals to 0 to this equation. 
to 0 equals to negative 3x minus 12. So 0 equals to negative 3x minus 12. Okay, we move negative 3x to left hand side, we will have positive 3x equals to negative 12. So x equals to negative 12 divided by 3, negative 4. Okay, so x coordinate will be negative 4. Negative 4, and just now I mentioned that y equals to 0. So negative 4, 0. Answer is C. Number 7. Diagram shows the parallelogram PQRS on the Cartesian plane. Find the equation of the straight line PQ. Okay, for parallelogram, opposite side are parallel. Okay, that means PQ is parallel to SR. And also, PX is parallel to QR. List down all the coordinates of PQRS. So P, the X coordinate of P is 0. So 0 and Y, 3, 0, 3. For Q, okay, this is a straight line. So Q and R have same X coordinate. So the coordinate of Q will be 4 and then unknown. R, R lies at X axis here. So the coordinate of R will be 4, then Y equals to 0. For X, X lies at Y axis. So X equals to 0 and Y is negative 2. Okay, first we find the gradient of SR. We find the gradient of the line SR. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2 equals to 0 minus negative 2 over 4 minus 0. 4 minus 0. So this is equals to 2 over 4. Equals to 1 over 2. Okay, so since PQ and SR they are parallel. So they have the same gradient. PQ and SR have the same gradient. So gradient of SR will equal to gradient of PQ, which is equal to 1 over 2. Okay, so now we can form the equation. Y equals to, for PQ, gradient is 1 over 2, 1 over 2, X plus C, Y intercept. What is the Y intercept for this line PQ? 3. Okay, so just write down 3. So this is the equation for PQ. Y equals to half X plus 3. C. Number 8. Which of the following pairs are parallel lines? Okay, for parallel lines, they will have same gradient. Okay, same M. Okay, for A. So we arrange these two equations. For A, I have 2X plus y equals to 1. Rearrange. So y equals to 2x bring it to the right hand side. So negative 2x plus 1. So what is the gradient for this equation? Okay, y equals to mx plus c. We have to find the gradient. Find this one, m. Okay, so the gradient for this equation will be negative 2. Second equation, y plus 2x equals to negative 5. Rearrange this equation that I have y equals to 2x, move it to right hand side. So negative 2x minus 5. The gradient is equals to negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2, these two are the same. That means these two lines are parallel. Okay, so the answer is A. Okay, we also try to do B, C, D. I'll show you. B, C, D. Okay, for B. Y equals to 3X. Okay, this one we don't need to rearrange. So, what is the gradient for this equation? 3. Second equation. Y plus 3X equals to 11. Rearrange. So, Y equals to negative 3X plus 11. Okay, so what's the gradient for this equation? Negative 3. So 3 and negative 3, these are different. So B is not parallel. C, Y equals to negative 2X plus 9. Okay, no need to rearrange. So what's the gradient? Negative 2. Second equation, negative 2Y plus 4X 
equals to 0. Rearrange. So negative 2y equals to negative 4x. Okay. There must be no number beside y. So we have to divide it by negative 2. Then you will have y equals to negative 4 divided by negative 2 equals to 2x. So the gradient of this equation is 2. Okay, for d, we have x equals to 5y minus 10. We arrange this, then you will have 5y equals to x plus 10. Okay, we divide by 5. So y equals to 1 over 5x plus 10 divided by 5, 2. So the gradient is 1 over 5. Second equation, 5x equals to y plus 10. So y equals to 5x minus 10. So the gradient is 5. Okay, these two are different. Okay, so the answer is A. Number 9. JKMN is a rectangle and P is the midpoint of KJ. Given that LM equals to 2KL, Find the equation of the straight line that is parallel to the straight line JM and passes through the point P. JM parallel to the straight line JM and passes through P. Okay, so that means okay, the line will look like this. Okay, these two lines are parallel. We are given the coordinate of K is negative 2, 4. Then what's the coordinate of L? Okay, this is a straight line. So they are at the same Y axis. Okay, this is x equals to 0, so 0, 4. Then what is the coordinate of m? x is unknown because I do not know what is the x coordinate here. And y is still the same, 4. Okay, we are given the information that lm equals to 2kl. lm equals to 2kl. So we are going to use this information to find the value of x. So we are going to use the formula of distance, okay? Distance between two points, the formula is square root x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. This is the formula for distance. Okay, Lm. So Lm square root 0 minus x square plus 4 minus 4 square equals to 2KL so 2KL so this one x1 minus x2 negative 2 minus 0 square plus 4 minus 4 square okay you can simplify this one then you will have 0 minus x square this is just negative x square Plus 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4 equals to 0. So 0 squared, 0. Equals to 2. Then this one, negative 2 minus 0 equals to negative 2 squared. Plus 4 minus 4, 0. Okay, to get rid of this square root, we square both sides. Square both sides. Okay, so square root, square, cancel. Negative x squared equals to x squared. 2 square, 4, square root, square cancel, so negative 2 square, you will have 4. So x square equals to 16, x equals to plus or minus square root 16, x equals to plus or minus 4. And this is on the right side, that means the coordinate of x is positive, not negative. Okay, so we are going to use positive 4. Now we have to find the coordinate of J and P. So K, P, J, three of them lies on the same straight line. So that means their X coordinate are the same, negative 2. So the coordinate of J will be negative 2, 0. Okay, because this is at X at 6, Y equals 0. Then the coordinate of P will be negative 2. Then how about this one? Okay, we are given the information that P is the midpoint of KJ. P is the midpoint of KJ. That means Okay, this is 4 unit, so P is the center, so P equals to 2. Okay, now we are going to find the equation of JM. 
So the gradient of Jm equals to y2 minus y1, 4 minus 0 over 4 minus negative 2 equals to 4 over 6 equals to 2 over 3. So this line and Jm, they are parallel. For parallel lines, they have the same gradient. Okay, that means for this line, the gradient is also 2 over 3. Okay. And now we will have y equals to 2 over 3x plus c. Okay, we still have to find the value of c. To find the value of c, we substitute the coordinate of p to this equation. So negative 2, 2. So y equals to 2 equals to 2 over 3 x equals to negative 2 plus c. So this is equals to negative 4 over 3 plus c. c equals to 2 plus 4 over 3 equals to 10 over 3. Okay, so the equation will be y equals to 2 over 3x plus 10 over 3. Okay, then you check a, b, c, d. There is no answer that y equals to 2 over 3x plus 10 over 3. All we need to do is just multiply by 3. Okay, then you will have 3y equals to 2x plus 10. Okay, because this 3, 3 simplified, 3, 3 simplified. So this is the answer. 3y equals to 2x plus 10. C. Number 10. An equation for the straight line is 2x plus 3y equals to 6. Define the gradient and y intercept. Okay, so we just need to rearrange this equation. 2x plus 3y equals to 6. Now for 3y equals to, okay, x, we move it to right hand side. Negative 2x plus 6. Okay, we cannot have numbers here. So we divide it by 3. And y equals to negative 2 over 3x plus 6 divided by 3. So we have 2. Then the gradient will equal to negative 2 over 3. This is the gradient. The y-intercept will equal to 2. So the answer is boy. 11. It is given that the gradient of Rs is 5. Okay, Rs. And the distance of ST is 25 units. Find the x-intercept of line ST. Okay, so first we find the coordinate of x. So x lines at y at 6. That means the x coordinate of x is 0. Then unknown y. Okay, we find the value of y. Given that the gradient of rs, gradient of rs equals to 5. So we use this to point. y minus 5 over 0 minus negative 3 equals to 5. Okay, find the value of y. So y minus 5 over 0 minus negative 3, we will have positive 3, 5. So y minus 5 equals to 5 times 3, 15. y equals to 20. So this is 20. And we have to find the coordinate of t. Okay, so t lines at x at 6. That means the value of y equals to 0. Then we have to find x here. Okay, we are given the information distance of st is 25 unit. Okay, we use the formula of distance, which is square root x1 minus x2. So 0 minus x square plus y1 minus y2. 20 minus 0 square equals to 25. Okay, we solve this first. 0 minus x squared equals to negative x squared plus 20 minus 0 equals to 20. So you will have 20 squared equals to 25. Okay, we have to get rid of this square root. So we square both sides. Okay, we square both sides. So square root square cancel. Negative x squared equals to x squared plus 20 squared we have 400 equals to 25 square 6 2 5 so x square equals to 6 2 5 
minus 400 x square equals to 225 so x equals to positive negative square root 225 x equals to positive negative square root 225 equals to 15 and since this x is at right hand side so this is positive 15 not negative 15 so this is positive 15 okay find the x intercept of line st line st is here x intercept means the point that cut at x at 6 so this is the point that cut at x at 6 so equals to 15 so the answer is A. KLMN is a rhombus and O is the origin. The equation of the straight line KN, so we are given this equation 2y plus 5x minus 44 equals to 0. Find the value of P and Q. For rhombus, the opposite sign are parallel. So NL is parallel to KN and also MN parallel to Okay, first to find the value of Q, okay, because N lines on this straight line KN. So we can substitute this coordinate into this equation. Then you will have 2y equals to Q plus 5 x equals to 6 minus 44 equals to 0. Okay, find the value of Q. So 2Q equals to 30 minus 44 negative 14 move it to right hand side so 14 so q equals to 7 okay you just need to substitute 6 and q this is x this is y to the equation here to find the value of p we rearrange this equation okay so 2y plus 5x minus 44 equals to 0 rearrange 2y equals to negative 5x plus 44 okay y here cannot have any number beside y so divided by 2 y equals to negative 5 over 2 x plus 44 divided by 2 22 so how is the gradient of kn that will be okay that will be negative 5 over 2 the gradient of kn equals to negative 5 over 2 and just now I mentioned that these two lines are parallel that means they have the same gradient okay so gradient of LM is also negative 5 over 2 okay so now we can find the value of P so gradient equals to y2 minus y1 so 5 minus 0 over x2 minus x1 P minus 3 and M equals to negative 5 over 2 equals to 5 minus 0 is just 5 p minus 3 okay cross multiply so negative 5 multiply with p minus 3 equals to 2 times 5 10 okay expand this one so negative 5 p plus 15 equals to 10 so negative 5 p equals to 10 minus 15 negative 5p equals to negative 5 so p equals to negative 5 divided by negative 5 equals to positive 1 so p equals to 1 q equals to 7 the answer is 8